Alright, what's up y'all? It's your boy Asmin Golden. Today we're going to be looking at how to get the achievement Friends on the Farm. Okay, uh, there's a couple different ways to get it. Um, you can turn in food to the different uh, NPCs, but uh, what I think is the fastest and the uh, most effective way is to dig these piles of dirt and basically uh, you get this little item and each item you can turn into the NPCs and it will give you rep basically there are some items like for each, each NPC each NPC has like their favorite item and so you want to make sure that you are always if possible giving them their favorite item because it gives you like 600 instead of gives you a thousand instead of 600 rep but uh, one place to find them as you see here is the uh, outside the temple of the jade serpent this is an okay place to farm um, I think that uh, the valley is better, but uh, if there are a lot of people at valley, you can always farm here. Second place is the um, Temple of the White Tiger. I'd say Temple of the White Tiger and, and the, the Jade Forest or Jade Temple, they're about the same. Uh, the main thing that makes them good is there's less people that are competing for the items. And so, I'm actually, I, I play on Kel'Thuzad, and it's a actually a pretty high population server and I didn't really have much trouble uh, doing them in half hill and so I don't think you would either but just in case you do these are two alternate farming spots and also you know you can do a rounds of like going to these two while you wait for the ones in a uh, valley to respawn um, as you can see here I'm not really doing very well in terms of the uh, the dirt packs but um as soon as we get over the half fill, then my luck will start to increase. Um, a couple things that I that I do want to mention. I want to mention again, make sure that you're turning in the right item to the right person, even though you can turn in all of them to everybody. I'm, I'm pretty sure I think they'll accept all of them. You, you always want to make sure, obviously, that you're getting the most bang for your buck, you know, unless you've got like one, one left and you can you just turn in whatever you can. But um, that's actually pretty much all there is for this zone. Um, it's just right in this little pathway. As I said, I would probably suggest going uh, going to the valley first. I think I found like four or five here. So it looks like four. Yeah, four. And so right here, uh, this is in uh, in valley. And the only thing that is kind of annoying here is yeah, sometimes you will aggro these mobs and. Like right here, I don't know how I aggroed that many of them. It was really fucking annoying. But again, it's not a big deal. Now here's here's what I haven't seen in other guides. This is what I'm gonna do right here. I I go all the way up, and it despawns a lot of the uh, the foliage and extra stuff, so you can see everything else. And I have a clip right here that I'm gonna play. As you can see, there's one, and it becomes increasingly easier to see as you move back and so uh, doing that basically you can view the dark soil at a closer di at, sorry at a farther distance than you can view a lot of the uh, the mobs and um, like the uh, watermelons and stuff so it's like you, it's like in, in one scenario you've got watermelons in the way and you can't see anything because there's fucking watermelons everywhere and so you go up into the air and there's no more watermelons. I mean this this thing even this trick even despawns rocks. So I mean it saved me a lot of time. As I said, I I did this so fast today. Like you're about to see right here. This is the best place to farm, by the way. Um even though on Wowhead it says Dreadways has uh has the second most spawn locations, what you're really looking for is um density and so like here is is the undisputed best place to farm these items the the dirt soil see i just got three no big deal i don't give a fuck just doing whatever i want you know what i'm saying and i go up see those rocks they just do spawn see that's that helps out a lot it's the same with those you know it's easier for me to see those because i was able to get the aerial view and obviously you don't want to get up too high duh but um 
basically if you're a little bit higher than the birds that are flying around and uh, you can see the uh, some of the foliage disappear you're in the right uh, the right altitude yeah there are the birds right there why am I going sideways well you see my screen is not a square and so if I'm at this uh, if I'm looking at things at this perspective as they're going this way okay instead of vertically there's more room for me to spot an error that I made so you might want to try that even though it is kind of annoying to do but I just kind of wanted to get this done in one day which I did and I'm pretty sure anybody can Um, other than that, like I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've really got to, anything I, I can really add to this, you know. Uh, another thing I, I guess I should mention is that there is an add-on for this. And I'll try and put the add-on in, uh, in the description. But um, if I forget, for whatever reason, uh, you just Google it. I mean, it'd be pretty simple. And uh, it, it doesn't actually like find them for you or anything, but it just uh, it uses like that add-on TomTom, -tom, which is like a waypoint add-on, and it just puts all the waypoints on your screen so you know exactly where to look. That's that's kind of helpful, but um, honestly, I found that just running around the uh, the farms here and uh, just finding them. See, I just found one right there, and again, because I'm so high up, it despawned everything else, so it's not a pain in the ass. But that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.